In this episode of Cobb TV, we are talking about the style of the drummer for Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, and Temple of the Dog, and that is Mr. Matt Cameron. <laughs> yes, and be sure to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. Now, Matt Cameron endorses Yamaha drums and has been a fan of Zildjian cymbals from day one. He has a jazzier style with a rock feel, much like Mitch Mitchells, who is one of his influences. He is also influenced by Billy Cobham and Bill Bruford of King Crimson, and that's where he gets a lot of his odd time signature approaching. But he's also a fan of Steve Gadd, and if you listen to the song Wooden Jesus, he actually has mentioned that this is a track that was directly influenced by the popular Steve Gadd groove, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Now that one has a very interesting feel in 6-8 and there's even a quarter note polyrhythm going against that 6-8 feel that he keeps on the hi-hat. Matt Cameron, he's a master of playing in all these strange meters. And we're going to start off easy with a groove that's in 6-4 time, and that is Fell on Black Days. <laughs> Now what I like about Fell on Black Days is he's really accentuating those two extra beats because if we think of 6-4 four as 4-4 four, four plus 2-4, those extra two beats he's playing syncopated notes on the kick drum while the rest of the groove is maintained in the same way. He also likes to accent beat one by opening the hi-hat. Now that track I played for you earlier, Wood and Jesus, is from the Temple of the Dog album. And another track from the Temple of the Dog album I really, really, really like is Pushing Forward Back. I would argue that it's in 7-8 because it's like he's playing a 4-4 beat, but with an eighth note cut off. Playing in seven is so natural to Soundgarden. It's as natural as breathing. And another stylistic thing that I really like about Matt Cameron's approach is the way he plays the tom in this psychedelic feel. And if you listen to Spoon Man, you can hear this really cool tom-tom pattern in seven for time. Now the way Matt Cameron likes to describe the way he approaches odd time signatures is he just keeps a straight 4-4 four, four groove until the turnaround where he adds 
a beat skip. He is applying that technique to that groove as well as Outshine and a lot of his other tracks as well. listen to the track I Awake, he is playing in 11-4, which is basically three groups of 3-4 and a bar of 2-4. another track is going to be Black Hole Sun and you can hear so many iconic drum fills in that and not only that he's improvising most of these drum fills that you hear even in the recording he's a very in the moment player and not to mention during the guitar solo we're playing in 9-4 time Have it. Just a quick description of Matt Cameron's playing and a demonstration, of course. He has a lot of stuff to unpack, so listen to all the Soundgarden records, listen to the Temple of the Dog record, and check out some of the live stuff that he does with Pearl Jam and the way he approaches some of those classics in his own way with his own feel. Yes. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic musical content, but in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.